everybody. I figured out how to make bookmarks. And now I'm going to go and check out what's over there. Where did I see that rubber tree? There it is. Oh, 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 that's not good. I am always worried about drowning. There is so much new stuff. So I think what I'm looking for, if I want to make a campus, is a big open space. But I'm not sure that I do. That's a zombie over there. We're just going to pretend like he doesn't see me. Only, I think he's got a hat. I don't know what the deal is with hats, but I know that I want hats. Uh, he's got a fez! Give me the fez! Fez me! Oh, I don't know if I got it. I'm like sinking down in order to get the fez. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to check if, uh, check my hats. I'm all like, oh my god, fez. I don't know how to check my hats. That I will have to figure out in between episodes because hats are important. Um, yeah, I will move on and do civilized human being things. Like smash apart this tree. Well, I'm not going to smash apart the tree, but I am going to... Um, Rubber is one of the most important resources in uh, Feed the Beast. And there are two kinds of rubber. There is good rubber and there is crappy rubber. I don't actually know if crappy rubber is still in um, the Direwolf 20 pack. But this is the good rubber. And if you can get a few saplings of the good rubber, you're usually set. There we go. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Because the crappy rubber, you have to chop down the trees in order to get it. But the good rubber, you can just tap the trees with a tree tap. And it's a renewable resource. And you will find that in Minecraft, I'm all about renewable resources. Everybody has a thing that they do in Minecraft. I make stuff. I design manufacturing processes and factories and things like that. And I make sure that I always have enough renewable resources on hand to do whatever I want. And obviously, that means that I really struggle in the beginning. But as soon as I get established, I take my torch. I start having lots and lots of sort of spare stuff. Oh, God. I don't know what just happened to me or what's going on. I don't know. I can't see. I'm blind. I. There's a skeleton. Oh god. That was terrifying. I don't ever want to experience it again. But I was definitely blind for a little while there. We're gonna go in the general direction of a way. Oh. Okay. Snow. I do not want to live in a place where there is snow. Partly because I already live in a place where there's snow. Yeah. Um, it's minus 25 out right now. And uh, I'm not a huge fan. But also, any water that I use for farming will freeze. So, I, want, I need somewhere with good access to water and trees and you know maybe maybe a desert I mean snow biomes are it's important to know where they are because there's some useful stuff you can get here but I don't want to live here and let's be clear on that god I've used up almost all my bread already that's all right I got some, I got some of that steak my goal is to not die my, my goal is always to not die but I don't like dying in Minecraft. I feel it makes me feel sort of ashamed. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. This is kind of flat. We could build a house here. Um, part of the goal of doing these videos is I always make things that are super functional. Like, I am the guy with a billion square buildings. And they're just square buildings with things inside them. And the things inside them are highly intricate and involved and technical. But the actual buildings are ugly as sin you know i've got the most wonderful machines in the 
ugliest buildings, and I don't I don't like that. I, I think that it's it's perfectly reasonable to not only have a set of that looks good, that looks good of uh, processes and, and things that keep you alive and, and help you thrive, but also to do it in buildings that make you happy when you look at them, and mine do not. And so I'm gonna try and change that. I think by by recording, and we're gonna we're gonna get some of that going. All right. We, no, that's fertilizer. We don't need that right now. I'm really beginning to think that maybe that uh, that valley was my best bet. But we're gonna keep walking. Oh, it looks like there's a waterfall over there. That's kind of cool. Let's go check that out. I used to play Minecraft. When I finished grad school, I did a stint as the best babysitter in the world, uh, according to the kids, and I'm really kind of proud of that. But uh, I, uh, we used to play Minecraft together. And ooh, this is cool. Ooh, we're not going caving yet. We're not. We're not in a position to go caving. Um, without dying a lot, and we don't have a house to return to, so. Dying is, again, not something I want to do. But anyway, we used to play Minecraft. And we built tree houses and all kinds of stuff. And it was, it was, it made the game vastly more difficult because I was doing it with a three-year-old in my lap. So he could see while his sister would look over my shoulder. I do think that maybe the valley was the... <gasps> oh! <sighs> I wasn't looking, and there were leaves. All right. Looks like we're starting over. Death count one. I have nothing, and no food, and no anything, and no bed. So, you know what to do. You punch wood. And that is how quickly... You can lose everything in Minecraft. Now, to be fair, I wasn't technically doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because the smart thing to do in Minecraft is to first set yourself up a little hidey hole. And once you're secure, then you go looking for a place to put your house. And I didn't do that. And I should have. And I should know better. But I really wanted to show off the new server. And I really wanted to... Oh my god, I can put things diagonally. No, I can't. I'm just standing at a weird angle. Um, yeah. And I really wanted to show off. And that's what happens. We're gonna make some more tools. And we're gonna make a sword. And we're gonna hope there's enough sheep around here to make another bed. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Alright. Sheep number one. How you doing? We need three wool. Or a big pile of string. I heard an, another sheep. Oh yeah, I hear tons of sheep, but I don't see any. Do you see any sheep? That is uh, that is definitely somebody's tower. Somebody has been there. I don't know who, but I really like these trees. I wonder what that is. And by I wonder what that is. I mean, we're of course going to go and look at it. And also look for sheep. Sheep. Now the downside of this is... Is that a... Is that a goat? Oh my god, I think that's a goat. No, it's a sheep in a hat! Hat! I really gotta figure out how hats work. You know what I really gotta do? Make a bed. Like now. 
because it's going to get dark, and I don't want to fight monsters. You guys saw how I reacted to the skeleton. It's just not pretty. Anyway, I am going to sleep and wander around a bit and try to survive and set up a small hidey hole, maybe. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks when I have gotten a bit more established. All right, so we got fear next week, and we've got all kinds of Tricon videos coming. Um, I don't know, Tricon is over. Um, now we're in Polar Plunge, but and all kinds of other stuff. I don't know what that is, but I don't think I want to touch it, which is pretty much the story of my life for everything here. Hello, sheep. No, that's cool. You are cool, because when I die again, I'm going to need you. I'm going to murder you in front of your family and take your delicious, wonderful wool. Anyway, I'm going to look for a place to live, and I will see you guys later. Out of oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Said, oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Oh good ale, I want my darling and my joy. Oh, the night and morning.